there, how's it going? This is October Square in the center of Minsk, the capital and largest city of Belarus. On a chilly but sunny December day, December 6th. And so Christmas is on the way and they're getting ready for it. And so I've been in uh, Minsk here for uh, three days. Today is my third uh, full day here. I'm leaving tomorrow. It is a short visit to Minsk and to Belarus. I'm flying tomorrow to Amsterdam. And so uh, I'm going to explore around here and just try to give a taste of Minsk as much as I can in uh, my limited time and try to answer the question, is Minsk worth visiting? Now, of course, you could say all places are worth visiting to some extent or another. Some uh, more uh, interesting to visit than others, of course. But the question on uh, travelers' minds might be, is it worth uh, my flying there, spending my money and my time on a vacation to visit uh, this city, whether it is a interesting and worthwhile place to explore and to uh, be a tourist. And so as you can see, first off, there are very uh, magnificent buildings here. All throughout the uh, center of the city is really incredible architecture and so I'm going to uh, walk around just the uh, city center area and give you a taste of the city and uh, check things out, get a, a little feel for both Minsk and the Belarusian uh, country here. And so in my past two days being here in uh, Minsk, then I've actually been exploring around with a couple of locals, some of my viewers who uh, contacted me and they uh, gave me a uh, tour but I didn't feel like filming at the time but they took me through the uh, old town and uh, around the uh, central river here and various points uh, in the uh, city center and so I'm going to head over to the old city uh, right now it is really quite nice and start off checking out the old town and so part of the uh, tragic history of Minsk here is that the entire city basically was destroyed and then rebuilt. Basically all of these uh, buildings that you see here were either reconstructed from uh, what was left after the uh, bombings and destruction in World War II or else was uh, built uh, during the Soviet times and uh, since then but basically these are all buildings built uh, during the Soviet era. And this is kind of the entrance into the old town right here. And so the two main uh, languages in Belarus are Russian and Belarusian. And to the best of my understanding, they are similar, but uh, Belarusian is kind of a mix between Russian and Polish. This uh, area, Belarus in general, was uh, at previous times basically part of the Polish Empire. And so there is a, a major Polish influence on Belarus. However, that is more uh, predominant in uh, the west of the country closer to the uh, Polish border. And so here in Minsk, then most people actually just uh, speak Russian. And uh, Belarusian is uh, more common in the smaller towns and more towards the west of the country. Here we have the uh, main uh, river that flows through the uh, city of Minsk here, which I am not going to try to pronounce because it's a tough one. Sightseeing. The Cathedral of St. Virgin Mary, Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul, City Hall, and the Opera and Ballet Theater. Food, Gastropub Gambrinus. More than 100 beers from all over the world. That sounds pretty cool. And more of the old town out this way. The Calvin Coolidge Bar. One of the presidents of the United States. Interesting. That looks really good.
And this little island in the river here is called the Island of Tears. And it is a memorial, that uh, structure over there, to those who died during the war between the Soviets and Afghanistan. Here we are, the Island of Tears. And that is the name of the river. And then here is the Opera Theater. I will head over there and check that out. Now it is of course important to keep in mind that when it comes to considering whether it is worth uh, visiting and going to be an interesting place to explore, then it is December and I'm sure that this uh, right here would be a much more happening scene if it was summer and there were more people around. So, of course, a tour in December does not give the uh, best representation of a city and what might be happening here. And the Opera Theatre. And so I'm back on the other side of the river here. There is the Island of Tears over there. Old town over there, and we're going to walk into the more modern uh, part of the city. And some really incredible Soviet era relief carvings there. I'll get a closer look at them. And I believe this is the oldest church in Minsk. And in case you happen to be wondering, yes they do have McDonald's here. That guy right there is barefoot, going hardcore. City Hall, Minsk City Hall was built in 1582. For many centuries, it has been a symbol of the fight of the inhabitants of the city with feudal oppression, and today it is the center of cultural life of the city. And again, the Gambrinus Pub. And so there is the City Hall right there. And the Gambrinus Pub is right around here somewhere as well. So definitely going to check that out. And I think this must be the Gambrinus right here. Published 2012. <laughs> 
Gambrinus? Yes. Cool. Just me. Yeah, one beer. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And so this is Independence Avenue right here. Down there is the city center area where I was uh, exploring before. And I just took the metro here. This is the uh, metro station. A uh, old cinema uh, movie theater here. And this is my apartment building right here. My apartment is like either the uh, top one or one of the uh, top uh, apartments up there. The sun going down and I'm going to uh, take a break and uh, relax for a bit and then go out and find some uh, dinner a little bit later. And so this was the restaurant here, Olivo. That was a Belarusian dish that I got. It was basically a potato pancake with mushrooms and bacon. And it was just 13 Belarusian rubles, which is about $6 in like a, a nice fancy restaurant there. So amazing deal. I just found it walking down the street. My apartment is uh, straight down that way. And so is Minsk worth visiting? Absolutely. It is a really incredible city. It might be somewhere you want to stay for maybe three or four nights. If you have a week's vacation or 10 days or two weeks or whatever, then you probably want to combine it with uh, other cities nearby, maybe Kiev or uh, one of the uh, Baltic countries or perhaps go into the smaller towns of Belarus and see some of the uh, countryside and the contrast to the big city but uh, definitely a pretty spectacular city that is not very well known so that's it for uh, Minsk and Belarus tomorrow flying to Amsterdam see ya